simple yet delicious rice and beans for lunch. Hashtag ladies who lunch. Morning my dears, did you miss me? I honestly can say I missed you. It's so strange talking to you for 90 days and then suddenly it's like nothing. But it was good. I have new energy and I did some really boring stuff. Just typing emails, editing vlogs, nothing vlog worthy. And now I'm going to start with the big closet clean out 2015. This is Sparta. So this is all my clothes, which is way too much. Uh, traveling for so long, like eight months with seven shirts and just two short pairs of shorts and one pair of long uh, pants just makes you realize how much stuff you have. And I've already done this complete closet clean out last year and got rid of like half of my clothes, but it's still too much. And there's still too much stuff in it that I do just don't wear. So why shouldn't I donate it and make someone else happy with it? So here you can see the piles I'm making. This is the stuff I'm definitely keeping. This is the stuff I'm just going to try on and see. It's the maybe pile. And over there is like the, yes, I'm definitely getting rid of this pile. This is so much fun. Just put on some music and then just that's all your clothes, man. Gosh, it's 6 p.m. This only took me three hours. So I couldn't finish it today because I'm just too tired and I'm going to continue tomorrow with round two. Uh, this is the pile. This is the maybe pile. And over there, let me see. Um, this is the pile which I'm going to donate and this is the pile I'm going to throw away. I am going to show you the after result in my closet in the closet clean out video and now I have to rest for a little bit in order to get to the grocery store I had to go through the Hema which is like the most Dutch store you will find in the Netherlands if you're Dutch you know this and being back after three months this is like the ultimate Dutch feeling look <laughs> and they have the candy for Santa Claus look here. I didn't have, oh I did have paper nota, but not enough, so we'll have to get those. Oh my gosh, look at this, what is this? Forest Frenzy paper nota? What is this? What is this? Outrageous orange? Crunchy outrageous orange? I will have to get this. What is this? Especially the, like, the Forest Frenzy, this looks really good. I will get these. Yay! Food! We're going to eat sweet potato mash with a veggie burger and some kind of eggplant curry, I guess. So I already opened them because I couldn't wait to get my camera <laughs> and I tried them, but I can tell you what they taste like. It's not my thing. Well, it's not bad, but I prefer like the original um, chocolate coated paper nota. It's, what is paper note in English? I don't know, like, if I translate it literally, it would mean like, pepper nut, <laughs> pepper nut. <laughs> I don't know, it's like, but this is like forest fruit yogurt coated paper nota, and it's good, but nah, nah, I prefer the, just the regular chocolate coated ones. Still, nevertheless, I'm gonna eat them. Still, nevertheless, I'm gonna eat them. Look at this Australian MasterChef worthy culinary most random meal ever. <laughs> this is sweet potato mash. This is eggplant curry with <laughs> shawarma spices. I don't know, like super random, I told you. And this is a veggie burger. It smells delicious though. I don't know. So let me try it. That's good. Mm. Honestly, this is one of the most annoying things about coming home apart from the weather taking care of my own food like in all of Asia you are just able to walk out in any restaurant well not any restaurant but there are like so many budget restaurants where you can eat for a couple of euros and you never have to cook and then coming home you have to take care of your own meal because going to dinner in Amsterdam is expensive it's not cheap at all nope 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 oh my gosh so I bought neem oil in Rishikesh in the Ayurvedic store and it's supposed to help like with blemishes and um, to keep your skin clear but it stinks I'm not joking it it smells like poo 
<laughs> so I was just walking up to Stefan and I was like, honey, I have such a nice new facial cream. And he was like, what, does it smell like poo? I was like, close. <laughs> so you want to see his response? What do you have to say about the cream? <laughs> He's like all, ew. Not cuddling with that. No. Oh my gosh, uh, I got something in my eye. I don't know, are you not supposed to put neem oil around your eyes? I don't know. I thought it was like, bleh. Right, okay, wait. Let me just clear up. <laughs> Note to myself, don't put neem oil on your eyelashes or anything. Like, it burns. <laughs> One thing we didn't discuss are future travel plans and I have a fun trip coming up and you're going with me, of course, like you always do. We are going to Paris, yes! Um, actually, maybe I'm like way too enthusiastic because of the terrorist attacks. I don't know how the atmosphere is going to be, but I think it's really important to um, just go there and see for ourselves how, how the people are handling it and it's also important for them like they said um, I, th I read like a comment from someone saying like how what's the best way to help uh, the people living in Paris right now and they said like keep coming as a tourist keep visiting our beautiful city don't let the terrorists scare you away so we are going to Paris and we are not letting any terrorists scare us away from that gorgeous city we are going by bus which is also a first for me we are invited by Flixbus I'll put the link in the description I traveled by night bus in Asia on different occasions and I was just wondering like why don't we have that in Europe it's so comfortable like to go by night bus arrive in the morning and then Flixbus emailed me yeah. look at her and she scored the fat cat it's so cold 